And we're back for our let's play of the Riven remake. Last time we read uh, Atrus's journal about uh, Riven's uh, decay and like uh, his father being again being a dingus. Plans uh, to end the plan to get his wife out of here by dealing with again. Okay. Okay then. I guess that was th that right there is the guy who uh, took out the guard. Question is, where is Joe? Oh, there he is. Hopefully, he'll sleep that off. Hopefully. God, I hope. Okay. Uh, no need to open the menu yet. Uh, in here. Whoa. This is a temple and a half. Okay, then. Hmm. I assume this guy in the cross is Gen. Because, uh, you know, that's the guy we're going against, so the quote unquote King of Ribbon or whatever. Although maybe King isn't a strong enough word. That's a big dome. Very shiny. Uh Here's a room, here's... Let's push the button at least. Oh. Well, we couldn't go through that door over there anyways, I guess. <laughs> and that door is closed too, I guess. If I counted correctly, this should be the uh, op the next open door. Well, you know what I mean. There we go. That's a spinny thing. Not as grand as the gold one, but most things aren't as grand as a gold thing. Yeah. Very subtle, Gen. Very subtle. Apparently, Gen's making uh, guilds of some sort. You got uh, carpenters or builders, teachers, soldiers. Oh boy, that's a cartographer's compass. So I guess those squares are. Maps of something or other. And uh, on the far right, that's a very poetic way of making books, just having them fall from the, from the trees. That's not exactly how the process goes, but you know, symbolism doesn't have to be exact. And so Lord Gan cast him into the fiery pit. Technically, Atrus jumped into the star fisher. Where, uh, with the only linking book that remained on Ribbon, leaving Gen there. But, you know, nothing wrong with putting a little spin on things. <laughs> eh. Propaganda. Yep. 
Here's the rough process of making books. Step one, mulch a tree. Step two, boil the paper, boil the mulch so like you can make the paper. Step three, bless it with the hand of divinity. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And here we got Gen writing a world into existence, as opposed to just linking to one. I'm, I'm on Atrus' side of the story, because he told me about his youth uh, under Gen's quote-unquote tutelage. Uh, basically, uh, Gen kept uh, tweaking a book, and uh, like it just got worse and worse, like the people in there suffering. So then Gan makes her another revision. Atris slinks back. No one there recognized him. As if the link was so corroded by Gan screwing, screwing over of it. That like it linked to the next universe over as opposed to where it was supposed to be going. Leaving those poor sods that were currently in an age of no water and red skies and everything going crazy. Effectively abandoned. So that was not very fun. But I gotta admit, he's definitely got a flair for the dramatic. Uh, that's the dome, that's over there. What's this? There's a gate down there. And it should be, uh... Uh... The next path over. If I push this button one more time, this door will go here, and this door will go here. What's over here? Well, it's not a grate, so that's great. Pick up the pace a bit. Oh boy, it's locked. Don't suppose you left a key lying around with a five-pointed thingy. Okay. Another rebel dagger. That's supposed to be leading my eye to this thing. Bloody hell again, your security is insecure. Yeah, I see, I see. I also see that the water is not behaving the way water should in this age. Either Gan sucks at riding more than I think he does, and he really sucks, or something's going on here. Uh, yeah, the reason Gan can't ride is, well, I suppose we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now I'm doing puzzles. Okay. Ah, here's where that steam was coughing up next to the Golden Dome. That appears to power the stuff by the big telescope. Good. Second button. No, please take your time. Don't know I'm looking like that. Looking through that, I mean. Well, uh, still haven't addressed the problem of the gratings. Wait. Hallelujah. Ah, the spinny dome. Powered by that thing, I guess. Uh. Okay, I gotta select something, but like, what? Also, nice zoetrope. 
another button. Don't forget to raise the next grating. Should be over here. Yep. Yep. It's good. Now we can access the big dome. In uh, five minutes' time. <laughs> Also, there's Dunnish writing on the walls. Presumably some sort of prayer. Yep. That's the big dome. But I think we'll get back to it next time. 